day. It's a word a day. It's a word a day. It's a word a day. It's a word. It's a word. What's up, everybody? It's a word a day, and we're here again. Three sixteen twenty. Today's word of the day is teleological. Teleological. Have you ever heard of this word before? I hadn't prior to, I would say about a year ago. And the way I came across this word. Teleological. Was dealing with or learning about arguments, learning about um, fallacies and different kinds of um, logical arguments. logical fallacies and arguments and that kind of thing. And so I came across the teleological argument. So here's the definition of teleological. teleological. It's an adjective relating to, and this is dealing with philosophy, relating to or involving the explanation of phenomena in terms of the purpose they serve rather than of the cause by which they arise. Teleological narratives of progress. As it relates to theology, it's relating to the doctrine of design and purpose in the material world. And what I'm going to do um, to really put it into perspective of what I was telling you all was uh, I'm going to tell you what the teleological argument is and then this will give a better context okay so again I came across this with dealing with arguments so this is the argument for the existence of God from the evidence of order and hence design in nature so basically Anyone who is who is arguing from the place of design, the idea of design, I'll say, and those that understand my language know why I say the idea of design, because um, as a person who's on the other side of the argument, as a skeptic, I don't believe that there is an errant design. I believe that because of evolution, we are we are pattern seeking individuals. So we look for patterns, we look for a particular kind of order or design, because that's how we understand the world. And so sometimes we look for pattern and order in places where there is no pattern or order. And here's one way of showing that. If you bear with me for half a second, I promise you, you won't regret it, that's a lesson, give it to you like this, no stressing, oh, so what is that, chances are by now, unless you are blind in one eye and can't see out the other, you see a face, but the truth of the matter is, this is not a face, this is nothing but squiggly lines, and even if I do this, you still see an upside down face. That is because of being pattern seeking individuals. Um, I like the little, um, I like the commercial, I forgot what product is around, but where it's like the stack of money and then they just sit two like little eyes on top of the money and you're all of a sudden it goes from money to like looking like a face. So again, this is what we are as pattern seeking individuals. So a lot of times, in my opinion, as a skeptic, we see design in places where there isn't design. There's just there are patterns for sure, but maybe not ones that we're linking to other things. So yeah, the, the teleological argument is the argument from design. So a person that believes that it is designed there and is arguing from that place is dealing with teleology. Okay, I'm gonna go back to what is an example. And this is uh, coming from Quora, one of my favorite places to look for questions. And one day I'm gonna do a a Quora uh, video series. I've been thinking about it for a while. Those who uh, are familiar with this know what I'm talking about. It's 
it's addictive. The questions they ask on there, like you just can't stop reading them. So I've saved a lot of emails and I want to read them off to you all and have some discussions. So Ben Rinker says, Teleology is the process of explaining something through its function or purpose, right? Rather than what caused it or the thing itself. There are several aspects or genres of teleology. Te- I'm sorry. I'm saying this word wrong now. <laughs> teleological. Teleological. Okay, so teleological. I wonder if it's teleology. I wonder if the E changes. Anyway, I'll figure it out in a few minutes. Teleology is a common practice in ethics. Like the definition implies, using teleology in ethics means you consider an explanation actions based on the end result. Some might consider stealing bad, but as a tele tele it's a tongue twister. As a teleological thinker um, may say, but in the end, I'm stealing to feed my family, which is good. So the action is good. In other words. And action's goodness is based off of the outcome. The problem with that argument, though, is that, you know, an an action's goodness, we do this anyway, right? But it's just, it's subjective, right? It's just subjective by nature. So, yeah. (laughs) A second example of teleology is in philosophy. Early philosophers used intrinsic te- I cannot say this word, yo. I cannot say this word. To explain most aspects of the world by saying objects exist to serve their purpose. An acorn is created in turn uh, into an oak tree. Man was created to rule the earth. Apples exist, apple trees exist to provide food for the people. So the problem is, see, and I don't even like this because when it says man was created to rule the earth, well, this is the problem with the teleological argument. It implies a purpose. And those that are familiar, even if you're uh, a familiar person with my content and the kind of messages and stuff that I have, one of the quotes that I have, sorry, I'm sorry this music has been so loud. One of the quotes that I have is that... um, I don't believe that our purpose is predetermined. I believe that we define our purpose. And I believe that what's ultimately going on when we say that we have discovered our purpose or we finally figured out the purpose of our lives, even if it comes by what many people feel are means of spirituality or religion, I believe that what's essentially happening is we have all our preferences, our desires, our likes, our dislikes, you know, what makes us us. And at that point, it gives us certain um, predispositions towards certain things. Like for me, I could say I could say if I wanted to that my life's purpose is to be a musician, right? Because for a period of time in my life, not only was that all that I did, but I've done it well. I've touched a lot of people. I've made a successful career off of it, and I've gotten to the point where I do it really well. Well, but. Then you have the problem, which is right now, I can say that my purpose is literally to talk to people and to talk about important subjects like purpose and teleology and self-care and all those kind of things. And I can say that that's my life's purpose because it means a lot to me at this particular time. So I'm a person that believes, I used to believe that purpose was predestined and predetermined by an external being and those kind of things. But no longer do I believe that because your purpose is what you're selecting at the given time. And it changes a lot of time depending on what speaks to you and where you are in life at the time. You know, at one point, I would have said my life's purpose was to be an engineer because I was so heavy into math and I love taking things apart. And my mother saw it was a skill and she thought that I would go far with it. And I did. And I had the whole desire to. And then. I became a rapper and then I got, I was interested in music and engineering and it changed, you know? So anyway, I'm way off a word a day. What you say, what you say, a word a day. I'm way off. But at the same time, I think that I'm way on because it, it relates. And truthfully speaking, you know, 
teleology, I think, has its issues because it it presumes intrinsic purpose for a thing instead of what I think the evidence shows, which is that we create things for sure. We create things with purpose. But then when you look at the natural world, certain things just are what they are. And from there, naturally, we would evolve to fit the environment. That's that's just evolution. That's That's just what it is. But some people think that it works the other way around. That the, you know, the world was created for us, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Which, again, these are just different thought systems and, you know, different um, beliefs, you know, about things. So, anyway, that's the word of the day today. Let me know what you think. Have you ever heard of this word? Uh, the, 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 not the pronunciation, but the uh, spelling is T-E-L-E-O-L-O-G-Y. And that is... A word a day. It's a word a day. Join me tomorrow for the same damn thing. Peace.